Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at the Gaussian elimination method of solving systems of linear equation with the help of a scientific calculator. And the calculator we are going to use today is this Casio FX991 ES+. Consider the system presented here. When you have a question like this, what are you supposed to do? The first thing is, we have to rewrite this in an augmented matrix form. That is, we take the coefficients of the variables and put them in a matrix form. Let's proceed. Solution. And then, for the coefficients on the equation 1, we have for x1 is 1, negative 1, 2, and 3. We separate the right hand side from the left hand side with a vertical bar. Some will say you can use a dotted bar. Any of them can do. I think there is no much uh, difference there. You have 1 for equation 2, 2, 3, and 5. And then for the third equation, you have 3, negative 4, negative 5 and negative 13. So we are done with the augmented matrix. But remember that in this elimination method, what our aim is to make the elements below the leading diagonal into zeros. And the leading diagonal itself, we have to make it into ones. That is this 1, 3, and 4 have to be zeros. And this, this, and this have to be ones. That is our aim here. And for us to make this a zero, we have to do what is called the row operation. We take row two here, we minus row one. And for row three, we minus it from three, row one. But because we are going to use a calculator, let us name our row one as A our row 2 as B and our row 3 as C because our uh, calculator may not have R2, R1 and the rest of them. So we proceed with that as we define it in the calculator. For row 2, we use alpha. Our R2, we said it's B, so we put B minus A. That is our R1. We are done with that uh, operation so we separate it with a colon we press alpha and this key to enter the next uh, operation and the next we have r3 as c minus 3 r1 which is a now we ask the calculator to calculate for us but before then let us rewrite the next matrix and because there was no Operation on row 1, we have to write it the same way it was. So calculate for us when B is 1, A is 1, and C is 3. We have 0 and 0 here. We ask it to calculate again when B is 2. A is negative 1 and C is negative 4. We have 3 for B and then negative 1 for C. We proceed again with the next uh, iteration. Now the value for B is 3. The value for A is 2. And the value for C is negative 5. Now we have b is 1, c is negative 11. We go to the next column and the next column we have b as 5, our a is 3 and our c is negative 13. So we have 2, 4, B and for 3 we have negative 22. 
we are done also with this uh, step now we do another row operation because what we want is to have a one here a zero here and a one here so we take row two we divide it by three and then i must say here that when you are to have an uh, operation in column one use row one when in column two use row two when in column three use row three so we are now in uh column two we want to make this a zero so we are going to use row two so let's say we take three row three plus row two that will give us a zero here and here we will have definitely a one that is what we are expecting now we define it in the calculator we have b should be divided by three remember you can use this sign or this any one that suits you you we are done with that operation we so we separate it now we have three c plus row two is b now we calculate when b let us write the next matrix so row one remains the same row two we know that this should be zeros so b is three now and c is negative one so for b we have here one and for c we have zero here that is the result we expected b in the next column we have one and for c is negative 11. we have for b we have one over three and for c we have negative 32. and then the next we have b we have two for b and then c we have negative 22. we have two over three for b and negative 64 for c we want to make this a one that is our next uh, target so the simple thing we do is we take row three we divide by negative 30 2 and we write our next matrix for row 1 there is no operation on it so it maintains the same 2 and 3 row 2 also there was no operation on it the same thing maintains 2 over 3 but for row 4 we are going to divide that we must not, not use a calculator because we know it's very simple to do so if we divide this by negative 32 we should have one and if we divide this by uh, negative 32 we should have two so we know that these have been made into zeros and these into ones now we proceed with the next thing which is backward substitution and to do that we can substitute in I must mention here that this is the value for x1 here is for x2 and here is for x3 so we are going to take this our x3 is equal to 2 x3 is equal to 2 but for x2 which is this we have x2 plus 1 over 3 into the value of uh, x1 we have gotten here as 2 is equal to the answer here is 2 over 3 so we have x2 is equal to 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 which is the same as 0 our x2 is 0 now for x3 which is here for x1 sorry for x1 we have x1 minus this is for x2 so we take the value for x2 
which we got to be 0, now plus 2x3. Uh, and we know that its value is 2. And this is equal to 3. If we do the substitution, x1 should be equal to, we take 3 minus 4. And this will give us negative 1. So in a nutshell, x1 is equal to negative 1 x2 is equal to 0 and x3 is equal to 2. If we substitute this in the system, we should have these answers. If we substitute the values, you can go ahead and do it in any way you think suits you. Thank you for watching and may God bless you as you consider subscribing to our channel.